one minute we've got a banquet hall full of car parts and Corvair parts, and the next minute the doors are closed and the tables get set up, and ain't no friggin' Corvair junkyard anymore. The Clarks, who support this hobby with their hard work and commitment, have served us well and will continue to serve us well. We're in Jacksonville, it's 2009. I sound like a radio announcer. Yeah, or something. We're having a great time. We had a little rain. It's a yellow and red storm swirling in from the Gulf of Mexico across the state. Going to wipe everything out and dump a bunch of palm trees on this beautiful Corsa. Hope we don't have any damage to Rusty's Corsas. Do you have a permit to be doing auto repairs in this parking lot, sir? Oh, we're breaking and entering. I can sell you one for a hundred bucks. Though. <laughs> yeah, you got to pull it out and get it just at the right depth. Maybe I can assist you. We were just saying we needed a flashlight. Yeah. yeah. There uh, we go. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. You see, if you would have come to me for a permit. Yeah, I don't can't see now. Flashlight back over, back over the screwdriver. There you go. Quite see. You know, they sell locks. You can buy a lock for ten dollars. I'll take one. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> the, the, the banquet hall is now a banquet hall again. It's not a junkyard <laughs> for Corvair parts. It's a crazy thing. I was looking. They're closing the doors. They slide the doors. Tables are being set up. The clerks are the last ones out. Yeah. Push down a little bit sometimes. It helps. Real life Corvair Chevrolet. Oh, I gotta hit the road. I gotta get rid of the light. My guy's leaving. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's coming right by here. All right, that's it. Bob's leaving. Corvair's gotta get out of here, pay their lot rent, and hit the road. Have to borrow then my flashlight. All right. Here with Bob, one attempt.